It's that time of the day for you to get comfy, kick back, relax. You are now lounging with the Pearls. <laughs> Hi, loungers. So we are on, at, on the greens in Weinberg. We mm-hmm. are now interviewing <laughs> Mathis. Yes. Yeah, Mathis. Yes, Mathis. Yes, Mathis. Mathis with a Z. Yes, Mathis with a Z. Mathis with a Z. With a Z. <laughs> welcome to Lounging with the Pearls podcast. Hey, welcome, Miss. Thank you for having nice me. Nice to have you. Yes. Tell us more about yourself. Yeah, me um, started in, in like, rapping since high school. Mm-hmm. I think like about grade nine. Um, but I, I think, like, just to keep, go back even further, mm-hmm. I, I did Lose Yourself from Eminem in pri- not in primary school, in Krish. Oh, is it Krish? <laughs> it was actually Saint Teresa's. Saint Teresa's, like, no, I th- okay, I was grade two. Okay, okay, okay. So, anyway, I was Damn. rapping Lose Yourself. The Eminem. whole Lose Yourself. Yeah. Damn. He's short guy on stage, you know, not knowing what I'm saying, yeah. but okay, just okay. rapping just because good. it sounds good, yeah. <laughs> So yeah, so I did that. Um, people always knew me for like being on stage or doing things like. That. Mm-hmm. So yeah, came, came to high school, started taking it more seriously. Okay. Um, linked up with a couple of friends at high school, and and like we, I made it a band. Like I don't like to say band, but like a click called formation. Okay. And we used to perform like at, at talent shows, the Valentine's Day things. Yeah. So. Used to be dope, and people knew us for that. Okay. And we used to record our own songs in high school. So it was cool. And then started studying like after high school. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then I t- took the, the rapping, took the back seat. Okay. After that. But I was always writing. Though. Okay. And then after that, I just started to release. Released on SoundCloud. Found out how I could put my music out on this on Spotify. Yes. Found you do that through DistroKid. Mm-hmm. Did that. Do and it's just been like uphill from that. So. Like for us yeah. making the you album. The first we thought yes. we could just upload to Spotify. No. Yeah, DistroKid. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, the things you must yeah. go through yeah. Okay, cool. But yeah, just for me, it was just it's, it's cool learning. I'm always I'm a big fan of learning. <laughs> okay, you so know? so you have a day job because you yes, went to I study, do. Yes, I do. and you do rapping, and that's your passion. That's my passion. Okay, okay. awesome, awesome. Yeah. So you don't look like a rapper. I know. I've got like I, get I don't even lot. see a visible tattoo on yeah. you. That's a chappy. Unless, unless you're looking at my entrance <laughs> chappy. Like <laughs> I think my TJ was yeah. like, oh, God, damn, little Wayne. Yeah. <laughs> are people surprised to know that you are a rapper? Mm. Like, Look, people are surprised. Yeah. They don't expect it. Um, but like I do, I rap and sing. So okay. I like to think okay. of myself as like an artist. Rather than a rapper, but I, my, yeah. the essence of my my musical creation mm-hmm. is rap. And do you do you have a studio or a label or like what is your creative process? Uh, I I record by my cousin. Okay. My cousin, shout out to Keenan. Hey Keenan. <laughs> not Keenan Flowers. No, not Keenan. Okay. okay. <laughs> Keith Reenan, that's what we call him. Keith Reenan. He's okay. the second year of three. But okay. yeah, I record by him, and okay. he kind of like he makes all, like he mixes and masters all my music. Oh, nice. I mean, he does, a, he does a great job. Okay. So I record there, but I've recorded at like various studios. I recorded mm. at Kosher Studios. Okay. I recorded at, at Vibrations in high school. Nice. Um, my friend came to come support me today, nice. Jason, he's also here. He, he was in the, the click with me, Cool Formation. So we used to go okay. to, to Vibration Studios in town. Uh-huh. Yeah, and I, I've worked with a couple of people. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, for the most part, most of the songs that I've uploaded was from Keenan. Oh, okay. Keenan Bridge, um, Mixed and Mastered. Yeah. yeah. Nice. So obviously, like with every interview, I do research. So yes. on your Instagram is only twenty posts. Yes. So is this talk about it? Has <laughs> this has this is this hip hop or rapping a reemergence of of you mm. as an artist? Yeah, uh, it kind of is because mm. I did take the back seat in a way. I, mm-hmm. I try to position myself to. Like, you know, with Instagram, you can post about anything. Yeah. 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 I, then I thought to myself, okay, I can use this for fun, mm. but I actually want to get myself out there as, I, I believe in myself as an artist. Nice. And I want to let people also see that from me. So I try to structure my profile in the okay. sense of my music and also add some of, like, my music is me. Yeah. I, I do think it's like I do express myself, but just add some other stuff, you know, like, yes, pr- yes, like yes. the picture that you saw with, like, my brother's wedding. Yeah, very. <laughs> Very, very you know? dapper, very yeah, dapper yeah. to see you, baby. Very, very <laughs> dapper. Yeah. Yeah. So, but like that, that's also why people probably think that that Good I'm nice. Nice. <laughs> that's also why probably people probably think. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, I just. Mm. But for the most part, most of my profile, you know, on my profile, yeah. it's, it's mostly music okay. content related. So okay. yeah, and it is a reemergence, but like mm. I feel it's like now is the time. Yeah. To mm. like boost yeah. your your boost. Yeah. Boost. boost. Out the no pun intended. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us what is your style of rap. My style of rap. I don't. I, I struggle with answering this question, but mm. I can give you the kind of beats that I select. Okay. So it's old school boom bap. Okay. It's neo soul. Mm-hmm. At that, there's definitely gonna be a melodic feel to it. Okay. So I I do add in like the, for the most part my songs has choruses. Mm-hmm. So it's not just straight bars and you're just following what I'm saying. Yeah. There's something catchy. I like to add that to to my music. So yeah, I just. I try to to just make. I like seeing about my life, mm-hmm. rapping about things that I've gone through, and also rapping <laughs> probably to girls as well. I like that. I enjoy that. <laughs> Talking about that, yeah. second person yeah. <laughs> mentioned that. <laughs> so your song to me. Yes. That was two years ago. Yes. Who is the song about? Yo, that's <laughs> not gonna mention names, but okay. It's, so it's about someone. But it's yeah. this. Yeah, it's about okay. my ex-girlfriend. Okay. Uh, okay. But we're still good. Okay. So I can't talk about it. <laughs> but okay. yeah, uh, she's not gonna. She's not gonna give you a beef song. <laughs> <laughs> no, she doesn't make music. But yeah, uh, this surprise. <laughs> gonna eat up Lulu. But but you. Like but you heard the song, so <laughs> you, no, you I can, did. So yeah. it's not yeah. any. It's, there's no malice no, there intent no, on this. No, but, no, it's actually. A very, but I, yeah. that's why I had to ask because mm. it's it's directed. I feel yeah. I felt it was directed to someone. Did you enjoy it? I did. It was, it was nice. actually very we nice. We yes. were sitting in the front room, mm. and then uh, what we normally do is we we set up the laptop and whatever mm. we chill, mm. and uh, we normally go into the artist. Yeah. Mm. We, yeah. we try and find out what's the background, where you're from, mm. uh, the type of music you're into. So we we kind of dig into that artist. So yeah. when we do. Mm. Do the interviews as like we we kind of know you personally. Yes, do you understand. Yes. Mm. So it takes off the pressure yes. as well. Yes, yes. Um, but yeah, we actually enjoyed what you were doing, mm. and I think that that was the main thing. We watched your your songs. We like scroll through it, listen to every song, mm. Mm. trying to figure out. Okay, so what what type of style is mm. talking about? Yeah, 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 you, yeah. You, I see you love the boom bap and yeah, that, yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's that's basically what we do. That's yeah. why you know. No, that's good. Like. Coming like interviewers doing that, it just shows me the passion from your side, you know. Because mm. yeah. a lot of people like just interview for the sake they don't know they you don't really. Show that interest. Yeah. But like at, at, when we can talk about like songs like "To Me" and probably yes. you have some other songs that you want to talk about as well. No, I, do. I like that because yes. we're directing it at the music. Exactly. So what I'm putting out there yeah. is myself, you speaking about, and yes. you just want to unpack it further. Exactly. I love exactly. that. Yeah. So, Did you have a song? Yeah. You got a song "Good Day" as well. Yes. Right. <laughs> that was the lyrics of that. I, like, I love. Yeah, I love it. I love that you love it. A lot of your tracks, I actually love. Mm. I really do mm. love your tracks. Thank you. Um, I have. I would like all the artists, you know, um, because I'm not a. And God knows this about me. I, I love the beat of a song. Yeah. So that's the first thing that's gonna attract me. Yeah. But then I don't have an ear like God. Like God will hear lyrics. Yeah. I'll be like, babe, what did he say there? Because I don't catch on. So I would. I, I, I'm going to ask you now to do this. I don't know if you have a Facebook page, but if you can, put your lyrics on your Facebook page. Because I like to listen to the song. If I'm vibing with the song, I will listen to the, I will read the lyrics. So tell me about the lyrics of, of Good Day, because it's it's so good. Thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, so, Good Day, a lot of my friends th- tells me that that's their favorite song. Of yeah, it is. It's a good song. So, Good Day is basically... Uh, inspirational song. Mm-hmm. It's a song about my faith. It's a song about just who I am as a person and what I try to put out there mm-hmm. to people. So it's uplifting. Um, like if I can just give the first few yeah. lyrics of the, of the first mm-hmm. verse, it's like we always sacrifice some things in life. Yeah. We're always on a mission to get it. Yeah. Try our best when we roll the dice for likes instead of being rich in spirit. So what? So what I'm saying there is we, we basically sometimes we we putting ourselves like we want everything. You know, we want the world. Heavy G. Heavy G in the building. This is no damn it, yo. This is no damn it, yo. No damn it, yo. 
so yeah so that it's basically just um for me it's just putting myself out there as the person who I really am mm-hmm. and you know it's it's funny that funny that you bring that up because my uncles my family members mm-hmm. people who don't listen to rap music absolutely my, my cousin I'll give a shout out to Shannon as well <laughs> who's your cousin Shannon who? Ma- Shannon Shannon Bielders oh okay we were just talking about Shannon Brinkes earlier I'm putting people on name but anyway she, she's my cousin but okay. like she posted a, uh, made a story mm-hmm. on Instagram about my uncle listening to my song oh. and playing it to him to her and just seeing his face and I impressed his you know so that is also that gives me great joy because it shows me that I get to instead of just having this with the young people the youth yes. I get to actually touch the people all the people who don't older. know about rap yes you know yes. and and the rap has usually a stain on it yes. you know yes. and and yeah. reaching the masses in terms of like the, the older people mm. it's it's a bit it's for me it's something accomplished mm. Mm. so yeah I just I just feel like I had to get that out I actually want to to actually that that I want to put the music video together because nice. nice. I feel that is If you really know me and and know where I come from yeah. that is a perfect illustration of my life. Yeah. Cool, and cool. I, I, I'm nice. excited to see it. Yeah. yeah. Now let's fast forward to long time. Ooh. Long time yeah. there's a distinct difference. Yes. From That's to what me I'm tonight, yeah. from Ooh. And then good day and now long time. Yeah. Yeah. Did you work with a different producer there? Okay, uh, let me think about To Me. To Me was recorded with, with Keenan, uh, but that was recorded 2019. Oh, okay. Like you said, two years. Yes, yes. Um, then uh, Good Day, I did that with Kosher Studios. Okay. okay. Kosher Studios. And then a Long Time also with, with Keenan. It's a funny story with Long Time. So long, long time is hard. Yeah, that, yeah, that's why I'm doing it tonight yeah. because I mean we're in the midst of hardcore rappers here. Yes. <laughs> so I need to <laughs> I yes. need to uh, show my my flex on my bones. Yeah, you know? there we go. Um, but yeah, so so long time was done with Keenan. Mm-hmm. That was actually to an, a different beat. Oh, okay. Yes. But, yes. Um, so that was done to a more like I would say very old school boom bap beat. Then yeah. Keenan thought to himself, okay, now wait, let's let's try to add some things here. Let's uh, add some play. Let's put like the jazz saxophone vibes. We got to that. And then yeah, he sent me. He told me like he was busy like most of the night. Like he was probably finished. Like, he was busy in the early hours of the, of the morning. You know. So he got that song done. He sent it to me. I loved it immediately. Like. Cause, but but some people have, it's this mixed view um, emotions on that song. Some people have different views on it. For me, I like it personally when I'm when I'm driving, and I enjoy listening to that song. But yeah, that song for me is dope. <laughs> no, it's yeah, so it. dope. Like yeah. really, because I like the the evolution of you. Yes. Like from to me, good day, yeah. and now the song. Yeah. Like long time. It's like Uh, this guy, yeah, yeah. this guy. Is I also like to show that versatility. Yeah, because you know? you're like, like, look here, you pretty boy. <laughs> no, let's be honest. Thank that's you. why I said you don't look like a rapper. Exactly. But yeah. now, yeah. long time is gonna be like. Oh, mm, okay. Mm, mm, mm. I won't be surprised if he has a tattoo next year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like it's yeah a, you know, old sleeve. <laughs> Long time tattoo. Yeah. You know? Yeah. My achievement. So, my my last question to you is. Um, Cape Town music industry, yes. right? So yes. you are you are 26. Yes. Um, like us, like I told you earlier, we, we oh donkeys, we 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 see the historical problem with Cape Town music, but you're mm. younger generation. Yeah. Do you think there is a problem? Do you think there is a lack? Mm. What is your view on Cape Town music at the moment? On Cape Town hip hop scene. This, good this good question. Yeah. Uh, for me, I haven't been in the industry. too long okay. to actually give you an in-depth answer okay but my my view on it is i i feel like i do st- kind of give a different flavor okay to the to what's been put out there mm, you do definitely yeah. Do. Yeah. Uh, yeah first of all you can't even you don't even know that i'm a rapper so <laughs> so that that's, that's for one that already shows you yeah. something yeah um so that's number one number two is like the music that i put out versus what what is being put out it's more like more i would say more chilled vibes more yes. more self expression it's not hardcore i'm not i'm not a gangster i'm not out here trying to to be something you're not yeah you're a tough guy i'm not a tough guy <laughs> you know i'm 
I, uh, for you me, just feel yeah, for me, it will be difficult, and and you will spot it quickly if I'm trying to be a tough guy. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, my view is, I, you know, it's it's difficult because people have their own messages, and people also come from different backgrounds. But I would just push forward that people need to express themselves, attract the audience that you know would be a core following to yourself, okay. and try to put out a positive message. Message, because mm. I mean, we're living in South Africa, and like let's say Cape Town. Yeah. Right? I mean, there's so much bad stuff out there, mm. you know? Let's let's at least try... The youth... I mean, I know I'm going to go off on, no, or go on a tangent here, but the unemployment rate is high. Mm. <laughs> you know, yeah. I'm getting technical here, but yeah. my point with that is we need to inspire. We need to build businesses. If we need to encourage entrepreneurship. Yes. We need to be better mm. than, than the past. Mm. And obviously, there's lots that happen in our country, but I just feel... We need to we need to put our best foot forward, and um, yeah, I can't really um, speak on the people who decide to go the gangster route or whatever pop bottles in the club or whatever. Yeah. That's them, yeah. because at the end of the day, people are gonna do what they want to do, mm. despite what you think. Yeah. Mm. Like it's just what is what it is. is. Mm. But like, I, hopefully, with what I can bring out and put push out to the people, they will in, they will be inspired to to do better with them with their lives. And just build a better future for the country. So, yeah. So I don't, I don't really have a in-depth view, but I just want to inspire and I want to, like, I just like to see people do better. Okay. Yeah. Good. So where can everybody find you? They can find me on Instagram. Okay. <laughs> so Instagram at Mathis B. So yeah. just let me give a quick story on the the, the yes, handle. Yes, please. Because like, yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> I, I called, I call myself now Mathis. Okay. I used to call myself Mathis B. <laughs> I, you can call me whatever. But the point <laughs> with that is, I just to give you an explanation of the name, yeah. uh, in primary school, they used to call me Matches. They called me Matches. This was like grade three, grade four. Why? I couldn't spell Matches at that time. <laughs> is that so, why they called you Matches? No, they just oh. called me like Matches. I, I don't know what, what the, the reason was. I just remember being called Matches. But the point on that is, uh, I spelled so matches the way you spell mathers. Oh. oh! You see? No, oh, okay. So, as I got older, I realized, yeah, this is not how you, how you <laughs> spell <laughs> ma matches. You went through the whole of your life. This, but then I, it was actually like a, a, it was actually a good thing, you know? Because okay, now, now mathers matches. sounds cool yeah. in my opinion. Yeah. So, <laughs> so, yeah, so then I thought, okay, no, this is actually the way you spell mathers. Okay, mm. but that sounds cool. Okay, so I called myself Mathers. Uh, when I got to high school, I started listening to Lil Wayne. My brother was was a big fan of Lil Wayne. Who was it? And I, I wasn't at that time. Okay. And then, like, obviously, he's my older brother. Yeah. And I listened to, I started listening to him, like Lil Wayne, and I started, hey, this guy's good. And he always called himself Wheezy F Baby. Yeah. No? yeah. So my surname is Beelders. <laughs> and, and I have a B. So I mean I thought to myself, okay, let's and I also you know you're still young, you wanna you, you wanna try things. So I started to impersonate him in a way I called myself Mathis B. And, and, and from that it just took off. And now when I'm older, I just feel like Mathis is just easier. Yeah, yeah, you know? Mathis, yeah. But you can call me Mathis B, it's whatever. People still call me that. Okay. But that's the story on that. It was yeah. it was an un unconscious decision. Okay. But it turned into, as I grew older, I realized, yeah, yeah this is actually something to work actually with. actually a dope story. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You, actually, you, yeah. you put the one in one together. It's like, uh, oh, okay, it makes mm. sense. No, it makes sense. What's next for you? What's next with me? Uh, I really want to get, I want to create music videos. I want to okay. put out music videos. Mm. Um, I think I have a lot of content. I still have songs that I haven't released. Wow. Yeah, okay. Well. So, like, I think on my SoundCloud, there's like about seven or eight Yeah, songs. you don't have a lot of songs. So, are you, are you planning to release anything? I like do. I do. I do have a project in mind, but I actually want to just build my following better. I want people to actually Before rock you. with it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah. Okay. So, the single route is what I'm going now at the moment, but I definitely have a project in mind. Um, probably about 13 tracks around about there. Wow. That's decent for listening. But look, yeah. people are not going to listen to you if, like your full body of work mm -mm. if they don't know you. Mm, true. So, so that's why you're on Lounge with the Pearls. People's yes. going to see you. We're going to yeah. see you. You see now this. 
this pretty boy over here. <laughs> yeah. They're gonna Thank hear you. you now at the show, so yeah. you're definitely gonna get more. Yeah. more so followers. also doing doing like these shows, you know, yes. I've been uh, people have reached out to me. Mm-hmm. It was a struggle at first. I think I, like I, I was at Bush Radio now on Saturday that passed. Yes. And uh, I had to give Robin a shout out, you know, because I didn't. I was trying to like I don't want to mention names of events, mm-hmm. but I tried to to put myself out there, and they they didn't really get back to me. Mm-hmm. And and Robin just heard my music message me told me listen you have a spot open mic come through fast forward to the day headline that's so, the beauty of nice. boost 021 and that's so why we are here to support boost 021 to support yeah. robin because yeah. nobody else is doing what robin yeah. is doing no definitely yeah. and, and, and just giving people platforms. Yeah, exactly exactly us we would never have known about you yeah i mean I'm and i appreciate Instagram you guys yeah. stuff all the time but i never came across you yeah. now i know who you are and mm. now we can be following you yeah and you're definitely yeah. gonna see more from me like awesome. i do want to put out that's what we want more, yeah. more music uh so the music is the the core part of, yeah. of all so nice. definitely working on new music one to put up but i, I mm. labels can eat me up you know i'm i'm not not shy to 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 sit he around the table and and discuss things you yeah. know i like i'm independent i'm completely independent at the moment yeah. you know but the, with that i know i think it's a term that's thrown around very loosely you know it's nice to be independent you can everything to yourself yep. but then again you have to do everything yourself yeah yes. you know and but that's we need to find work, the right labels we need mm. to find the yes, right people the right awesome. teams and that so there's is what pros and cons yes. with both yeah. so we start yeah. out with a boost onto one platform yeah. getting to know the artists getting to work with yeah. creatives lounge with the palm of island rock music yeah. and definitely we're gonna grow this cape town hip-hop industry. but thank you so much thank Matthews, you so much for your time, for for having time. Me guys. and we can't so wait you to watch you yeah. <laughs> thanks thanks so much <laughs> But I'ma be fine, be fine Soon to get it on lock Cause I give it all that I got I got, I got more worthy blessings Now I'm home to collect